Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today we have yet another huge cumulative thrift outlet haul. This is going to be over 50 items that I have sourced from both the Goodwill outlet, otherwise known as the Goodwill bins, where here in Houston we pay $2.49 per pound, as well as the Family Thrift Center outlet where we pay $2.25 per item. So it usually averages out to about $2 per item. This was, I would say, two to four thrift trips and many hours in total of shopping. If I had to guess, I would say six, seven hours of thrifting. Let's go ahead and get into it. We do have just one pair of shoes. I did get these from the Goodwill outlet. They are a little bit heavier, so I probably paid, I would guess, like around $6 for them. But they're genuine suede, knee-high boots by the brand Musin Cloud. You can see the little M and C there. And I was initially really excited about these because they are genuine suede and they are a taller more substantial boot however when I got them home and I was picturing them I noticed that one of the ties on the back of one of the boots is missing the tassel trim so this one has both of them and then this one is missing one of them but I don't think that's a huge deal I will still list them obviously I will just discount them I probably would have list them, listed them around 60-ish if they were in flawless condition, but now I'll probably list closer to 40-ish. Okay, getting into clothing now. I don't have any scarves or accessories in this haul, which is kind of rare. We do, however, have a very exciting piece to start off with. This is a Taylor Swift graphic sweatshirt from the Folklore album with stars. It is manufactured to have this faded look, so that's not from wear. It really feels brand new. So I was so excited about this. This rolled out in a new bin and I, my eye saw this uh, graphic part and I knew that it was a Taylor Swift album and so I flew over to it snatched it out of the bin, threw it in my cart. I put it at the bottom of my cart because you can't be too careful with really good stuff at the bins. This is a size small. The only size small that is currently listed on Poshmark in the sweatshirt is listed at $150, but the sold comps are closer to 75-ish. So I'm expecting somewhere between 75 and 100 for that, which is incredible for one piece. Okay, next we have one of my favorite anthropology sub brands, Moulinette Sewers in a size six. This is a gorgeous, silk dress with this lovely feminine print and lace trim. The details on this are just so pretty. It has a zip in back and I mean this is just gorgeous. I'll expect I would say 35 to 50 from this. It is lined and it's in flawless condition. I looked this over several times for stains or rips or any signs of wear because silk is so delicate and when it's thrown around in the bins, it's almost inevitable that it gets little floss, but that was perfect. So I'm so excited about that. Next we have very bread and butter Chico size two, which is a US size large. I just grabbed this as a bread and butter kind of bundle piece. I like the paisley print, the little ruffle sleeve. It's that really soft stretch jersey knit. This was also a fun find. I thought that this was Johnny Was when I saw it in the bins just because it does have the same style and quality, honestly. However, it turned out to be this brand Origami, which I hadn't heard of, but it is new with tags. It looks like it retailed at $50 at some type of boutique store. It's an open front long line vest with all of this embroidery. So pretty. It definitely does feel like high quality. So I'll still expect probably around 30 to 32 ish from this. It does have a lot of marketable features like the embroidery, the style, the length, the condition being new. 
one of my absolute favorite brands to find and sell Reformation striped jeans I believe that's a is that a high-rise maybe mid-rise actually striped skinny jean so cute these have a button fly which a lot of people like and they are in a size 26. I need to look up comps on these, but with the brand, I would imagine those going anywhere from 50 to $75. Okay, moving along. Oh, this was another incredible find. This I found at the Family Thrift Center outlet. Eileen Fisher, size medium. It's 100% silk midi or maxi length dress. The armholes are very interesting so it kind of looks like a cold shoulder but that's not the shoulder that is the armhole this strap sits on the shoulder and then you have this fabric that just kind of drapes i guess and this is where your arm goes through so yeah very interesting i'll have to try to find a stock photo of that it has a keyhole opening and back and then a very artsy cut for the rest of the dress. I am really hoping I can find a stock photo because I am not quite sure how to describe the fit of this. Another excellent brand to find for Love and Lemons. Very high retail and resale value for this brand, especially if you can find a substantial piece. And this is, it's a mini dress with contrasting floral and polka dot prints. Thin straps, very on trend. It looks very flattering with the ruching on both the front and back. Next we have Torrid. This is just a closet staple. I mainly picked this up because I just thought it's a really nice practical piece for someone to have in their wardrobe. It's a shrug, a cropped cardigan that you can throw on for a little bit of coverage over a dress or a blouse top. It's a size 5X. It's really soft and comfy feeling and it had no signs of wear. Next up, Athleta, newer tag Athleta. I know that right off the bat because it has the style name printed on the tag and they only started doing that more recently. These are the Farallon Heathered Wide Crop Pants in a size 6 tall, which is a great size. They have that comfy elastic pull on waist. And as the style name suggests, they have a wide cropped leg. Next, this brand is sold on QVC. D and company active. I mainly got it because it's a size 3X. It has this really fun beachy ombre print to it and it's also a linen blend. So yeah, it has quite a bit going for it. It has pockets which is great and I think a lot of people search out QVC brands on secondhand on the secondhand market like eBay and Poshmark because they don't want to pay the full price on QVC so they find a brand that they like, search for it on Poshmark, eBay and find it for cheaper, still in good condition. Yeah, this is 53% linen, so very breezy. I can add a ton of keywords into this, lag and look, minimalist, contemporary, beachy, boho, coastal grandma. We have free people. You guys know I love my free people and the comps on this actually looked really good, meaning that there were several sold and not a whole lot available from what I remember from what I am remembering. It was a couple weeks ago that I have checked comps now, but something about how this has sold in the past seemed promising to me. It has a floral Swiss dot texture to it with banded wrist cuffs and then crochet inserts at the upper regions in front and back. This is so pretty and delicate and feminine. It's like a baby doll cut in a size small. I wanna say this is just 100% cotton. 60% cotton, 40% viscose. So. I could immediately tell that this was a newer piece by, by Free People 
based on the inner tag. So it basically, the font is just really not, what's the word? Faded at all. The font is very newly printed looking. And also this little size tag here, they have started doing more recently. Also this OB number is um, on its own. And yeah, again, there's no fading to it. Okay, next, this I found at the bins. It was kind of a slower day, so I was just kind of looking at anything and everything that looked even semi-promising. Allie Miles, size medium. So I mainly gravitated towards this because it was new with tags and also because of the style. It's a very artsy, burnout, patchwork velvet material print I guess you'd say and something about this told me to look it up which I did and the comps were pretty decent on this brand again I can't remember exactly it's hard to remember comps for every single piece when I have a huge haul like this but I want to say it was around that 30 to 50 dollar mark the average sale price on this brand don't quote me on that though but I do want to say that I can confidently remember it being above 30 dollars so Allie Miles it looks like this retailed at 120 and it was sold at some type of boutique. Burnout Kimono, November 2022. So that's great, size medium. Okay, next. Oh, this is super cute. Another brand that is sold on QVC, Logo Lounge, which is by Lori Goldstein, in a size large petite, really soft, comfy stretch jersey knit jumpsuit. I have never sold a jumpsuit by this brand, but I can imagine this will do really well because a lot of her, this line from the brand Logo Lounge does sell especially well for me. It has pockets, it's a cropped wide leg. Okay, next up we have a pair of shorts. These are by the brand Seven for All Mankind and they are the Dojo short. When I first started reselling, dojo style jeans from seven for all mankind basically with just the sevens on the back pockets sold so well for so much so quickly i don't know how they're doing these days but i did want to get these because i'm sure someone out there is still a big fan of the style they're also a size 32 they're in excellent condition and a lot of people specifically look for longer length shorts like bermuda length shorts so I think there is someone out there that is searching for those and they will sell well. That's my theory. Okay, next at the bins, I found a stack of three men's Harley Davidson button down shirts and they are all so cool. This one is a size extra large. This one's definitely my favorite with the print. I think it's ocean waves. Yeah, like there's a wave and then motorcycles. So how cool is that? This one has the logo embroidered above the chest pocket and it's in a plaid print. And then this one has the logo embroidered on the back with a skull graphic. So really cool. These, the last two were size large and the first one was extra large. So I'm expecting, I would say at least 35 from each of those. Next we have some Lululemon. This is a seamless long sleeve tee with ventilation. You have all these uh, little holes in the fabric to make it very breathable, very practical piece. There's a little logo. I'll have to measure the size on this, but it is looking to me to be like a size four in Lulu but I will include measurements for sure. I'll have to do that for these as well because the size tag is missing, but I wanted to get them because they are soft surroundings, which is one of my favorite brands to find. And I thought they were really cute with the pink color as well as the snaps at the bottom hem. They're full length. They do definitely look like a large or extra large, possibly plus size. I will just compare them to some of the pants that I already have for sale and see how they match up. 
and obviously include measurements. Next we have J. Crew, size extra small. Definitely more of a closet staple here. I like the neutral tan color as well as this feminine ruffled puff sleeve. This I believe is a newer, yeah, fall of 2021 and it's 100% cotton. So I like to grab this stuff as closet fillers, especially if it's newer from J. Crew. Speaking of newer, we have the newer tag Zara here, size medium, really fun, vibrant, lime green, ribbed, button down tank dress. Super cute, very kind of preppy, but also minimalist, contemporary. This is great for this time of year. This color looks so good with the tan. I don't know why I'm holding it up to myself because I am not tan at all, unfortunately, but I'm working on it. Okay, next we have a hoodie by Champion. It's a color block hoodie. This is a women's piece. I thought it was men's when I first grabbed it, but I did find the stock photo from Urban Outfitters online. So yeah, I will definitely add loungewear, cozy, athleisure as keywords. It is champion reverse weave in a size medium. Next we have a Lucky Brand blouse top in a size large. I usually get these. I prefer them to be in size extra large and up most preferred is plus size but i just thought this was really pretty and boho with the print it looked to be in excellent condition it has tassel ties in front moving on we have torrid in a size 3x chambray skater style skirt a closet staple here it has pockets elastic at the waist and back this is 100% Lyocell and it is from 2020. I do like selling this brand Wilt. They make a lot of updated basics that are high quality. For instance, this is made in USA. This brand is sometimes sold at Anthropology. It's a pale pink slub cotton peplum style blouse with a tiered ruffle bottom hem, which definitely dresses up the basic long sleeve a little bit. Also shirred sleeves which is a cute touch last couple pieces in our first ikea bag here we have a nike rain jacket it looks like very lightweight i probably paid only about a dollar for this at the bins and i thought it was a really nice practical piece again i will add athletic athleisure raincoat windbreaker that kind of thing. This looked brand new. And I love finding stuff like this that is so lightweight. Okay, next we have J. Crew in a size 12. The size was definitely a contributing factor as to why I grabbed this. Also the cut, it's a simple shift style dress, which a lot of people like for work, church, that kind of thing. And it has a fun gold metallic heart novelty print which I thought was precious so I could see that going for around 30 okay getting into our second bag starting off with more J. Crew. this is a pretty exciting piece though because it is collaborating with Liberty Fabric which is a definite thing to look out for that's a bolo collaboration anything that is made with Liberty Fabric does command a higher price just because people search it out and I think some people even collect their different prints. How cute is this skirt? So it has an attached waist tie. It's a tiered design with a high-low hem and this gorgeous print to it. I love this. It's fully lined and it is 100% cotton. Did I say size zero? So I'm thinking this will probably go 35 to 40-ish, but again, I do need to look up comps. I had never heard of this brand, Strut and Bolt, but I did get this particular piece for several reasons. First off, obviously, the style. You guys know I am a sucker for this boho style. You have these wide 
puff sleeves, all of the gorgeous embroidery. It feels so high quality, the embroidery. It's also a longer length, midi length, I believe, smocked back, which makes it a little bit more flattering, as well as the material. It is lined and it is 30% linen, which does elevate the quality on this. It's a size small. And so yeah, I would say probably 35 to 38 on that. Bread and butter, free people, kind of like I was saying with the J. Crew basic shirts. I like to grab these at the bins because they are lightweight. They are good bundle pieces to just kind of bump up a sale. This one is a size small. It also has a fun retro kind of vibe to it, which I like. Umji denim, size large. I think this will sell so quickly because people love their over shirts. Also just denim shirts in general. They have always sold very well for me. And this one has some added interest to it with the frayed high-low hemline and the split at the bottom hem and back. Alrighty, moving on. Cole Haan, size extra large jacket, pale pink jacket. This is really nice. Uh, it's that windbreaker material and it has a lot of features to it. Yeah, you have the, oh, zip off hood. So you can fully zip off the hood if you would like to. You can also cinch it in. If you want to, it zips and snaps up the front. You can cinch the back for a more flattering fit. I thought that something led me to think this was new without tags, but maybe not. Uh, yeah, with this being an extra large, I could see it going for around 35, possibly 40. I will have to do a little bit of research on that. Dolan Left Coast Collection. This brand is sold at Anthropology, size extra small. Another bread and butter type piece. I love this color and it has embroidery, really pretty sleeves. It's a mixed media blouse, so the majority of it is the satin material, but it also has a really soft cotton in back. Really pretty more reformation i was so excited i'm pretty sure i found these shorts on the same day that i found the reformation jeans and i was just beside myself very classic essential pair of denim shorts here the wash is colorado and they are in a size 25 rolled bottom hem next i would classify this as bread and butter also prana size medium. This brand does sell very well for me though. They do a lot of athleisure style stuff, which is a style that sells phenomenally for me. A gradient print. And this looked brand new. It has a flyaway back. So that's what this is called when it's kind of open at the bottom hem. So yeah, uh, I want to say this also had a good, oh, the material tag is missing. I think I did look this up though and I saw that it was a wool blend or some type of good material blend because I'm pretty sure that's one of the reasons I got it. This was so cute. It's newer tag, American Eagle, size extra small, cheery yellow mini dress with this circular tie or a uh, buckle, I guess you'd guess. I guess you'd guess, I guess you'd say it's the end of the night, guys. I'm getting a little sleepy over here. I don't know, what, what would you call this? Like closure? It's not a belt. You have the tie and then you have the tie accoutrement, we'll say. Ruffle bottom hem, so pretty, so feminine. Made well, size extra small. I think this top is precious. It's a floral crinkled 
top with a tie at the bottom hem and then it buttons all the way down and back. Definitely an oversized fit. It is kind of sheer, which is trendy. It's just 100% polyester and it's from fall of 2018. I'll expect probably 25 to 28 ish from that. Next, we have a plus size piece from the brand Eshakti. This is a custom piece, meaning that someone ordered it and put in their own measurements. So I will just be sure to measure this and compare the measurements to other plus size items that I have to guesstimate the size. It's a gray and white stripe with this floral embroidery accent on the chest. Next, we have a Madewell mini skirt in a size 25, charcoal, gray, black. We have Banana Republic legging in a size 2. I mainly got these because they are new with tags. And I thought they'd be a nice workwear, career, office staple, like a ponty knit. Very substantial feeling. And with them being new with tags, I did want to grab them. Okay, this skirt I think has stains and I think I'll be able to see them when I hold it up. Do we see them? Maybe this is not the skirt. No, I think it is. Yeah, I'm kind of seeing them in the light. I think they're in this general area. So I will have to reassess this skirt if I need to launder it. But I thought it was cute with the side buttons burlap. I believe this was sold through Anthropology originally. It's a size 10. So I mainly got this for the size, size 10, as well as the color and the fabric blend. It's a cotton linen blend. So we'll see. Okay, I think I'm seeing it now. Yeah. Anyways, I will probably just wash that on cold on my delicate cycle and see how it turns out. Moving on, we have more plus size Livy Active. This is Lane Bryant's athletic line, size 1820 jacket, fully zip front, really soft, stretchy knit, and then a mesh back for ventilation, which is great. Oh, mesh panels. I thought the whole back was mesh, but it's just this, it's just a mesh panel down the middle. Kind of similar to those Banana Republic pants. I mainly grabbed these because they were new at tags. They are J. Crew Factory and they retailed at $50. Really soft, heathered, pull on jogger pants. Definitely you could do some lounging in these. These are so soft. They almost feel like a cashmere. Another closet staple here, Chico's 2.5, which means they are, oh, it doesn't have it on here, but 2.5, that's like between a large and extra large in Chico's. Uh, so this I feel like is a good representation of the kind of stuff that I'm grabbing at the bins when it's a slower day. I'm focused on closet staples or you know, factory items from mall brands that are new with tags, or I'm focusing on specific aspects that make a piece sellable, like material, style, that kind of thing, as opposed to just brand name. And it usually works out pretty well for me, but you know, there are days that I have to really get resourceful at the bins, and I think this, this thrift haul is kind of a good representation of that. So yeah, anyways, white shorts these were flawless and like i said they are between a size large and extra large so those should sell well okay next up i believe this was also plus size yes size 1x Haley and company and yes this was something else that i picked up because it was a slower day and i started to pivot to find stuff based on style and size that kind of thing but how cute is this? It's a very beachy coastal print mini dress with a tiered design, ruffle hem, long sleeves, v-neck. It's well made uh, because it is fully lined. Very substantial feeling material. It's not sheer at all. Yeah, it's all rayon. And with it being a 1X, I could see this going for probably 28 to 30-ish. Lucky brand. 
very boho hoodie here with the high low hem i liked this color vibrant this is something that i would totally wear it's really soft and comfy size extra small this lucky lotus line does sell pretty well for me more shorts oh yeah this i remember i was just trying to find items at this point old navy size 22 high rise og straight shorts these looked brand new and i mean they are definitely a summer essential so i'll probably list these at like 18 ish okay this is a good brand this is a bolo brand gold hawk size extra large i have sold this before and it has sold really well even just there let me i feel like i showed that really fast even just their 100 percent silk camisoles which this is sell for like 30 to 40 ish from what i'm remembering this is a cream lace trim silk cami I think maybe their slip dresses sell for a bit more, but this is a brand to be on the lookout for. Alrighty, moving on, we have a dress by J. Crew, size six, maxi length dress with ruffles and a tiered skirt portion. So pretty, very uh vacation vibes you could wear this on a cruise does it zip anywhere yeah it zips on the side it has pockets it is lined let's see when this was made spring of 2020 and it's 100 percent cotton next up we have a men's item so this will go in my men's closet it is chubbies which is a good brand to look out for they are most known for their swim trunks which sell very quickly and very well this is obviously not a pair of swim trunks but i think it should still do well with the vibrant colors it's a reversible quarter zip or half zip i guess jacket and the other side is even more colorful it has this front pocket here is the logo i think the demand for this brand was really high when it first came out and i think it may have dwindled a little bit but there is definitely still a fan base out there and i could see that going for like 30 35 ish we have two j crew tops this one is in a size double zero it's a faux wrap blouse pale pink with a little tie and then this one is a leopard print button down shirt size extra small this looked brand new which was mainly why i got it also because you guys know i love leopard print it's 100 percent cotton from fall of 2019 so this will probably go 25 ish okay our last pieces here i think we have like four more items oh this is a good find mm lefleur size six blazer jacket it's long line it has a one button closure it's off to the side there and yeah definitely an office staple here it's in good shape for sure me oh yeah so you have the one button to keep it closed and then another button on the interior and yeah, the inside looks good. It does have a dry cleaning tag on it. So you can tell it was well taken care of. Probably $50 on that. You guys know I love my Chico's. I thought this blouse is really pretty. I love the print. Size two, which is size large. How cute is this? Tunic button down blouse with mother of pearl buttons and this really cool boho print to it. I love this. I would totally wear this myself, honestly. I'm wondering, it almost looks long enough to be a mini dress, but I do think it is a tunic. Yeah, it's definitely a tunic because it does have pretty high side vents. So I will find the stock photo for this. I love the print on that. 
more lucky brand more leopard print size medium another bundle piece this is a uh thermal waffle knit henley top in a fun green color and our very last piece for this haul is a pair of denim by the brand denim forum which this is sold at aritzia uh, which is great aritzia has a lot of trendy pieces that people know and look for so yeah i could see these going for i would say around forty dollars they're a cropped leg in a medium wash the gia high rise carrot in a size oh that's weird so on this tag it says they're a size 26 long but this says 25. so i would go with 25 because they look kind of small but again i will always add measurements so that is absolutely everything for this huge haul i hope you guys enjoyed i should have everything listed by the time this video goes up and if you're interested in anything i will have my poshmark closet linked in the description down below so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did enjoy please feel free to leave me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys soon bye y'all